Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten 774 here bringing you the next video in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew Curse of Blackmore Manor. I am finally about to beat Betty here. Betty is a cheater, you guys. This is the fourth time I've played her. I've been playing it off camera so you guys didn't have to watch me repeatedly fail at beating Betty the Automaton. Um, but we're about to win here because you just need to have the most matches and I have 6 out of 10, so that's a good sign. Hopefully things continue to go well and Betty doesn't find a way to magically win. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, basically when you're at the end and like you get one match, you just get all the rest that are left. But thankfully she can only get three. So I better win here. I've tied with her a couple of times, but this will be the first time I've won. Sorry, Betty. You lose. Right. Uh-oh. I think my game is glitched. Because she made a noise like she was going to give me something, and then she totally didn't. Uh-oh. Can I use my Easter egg to get something? Shoot. I hope that doesn't ruin everything. Well. Alrighty then. So, it's like almost midnight. Yeah, it's almost midnight. Uh... Let's go back to our room and see if we got our food yet. Oh, that's Jane's room. Probably don't want to bother her. She's probably sleeping. That must be the food I ordered. Woohoo, food! Looks like Pinky and Perky is turkey. I knew that. This smells delicious. It looks pretty good. We're just gonna take this piece of turkey here. Mmm. And you know what? Ah, that was really good. While we're hoarding food, let's hoard the butter, too. Can't we hoard the butter? I feel like I can hoard the butter. Nope, guess not. Because, well, there's butter left. So, okay. No lie here. When I first played this game, the very first time, I was like 11 or 12 years old. I was playing it with my younger brother. And we got super stuck at one point. Like, we just could not figure out what we needed to do. So, like, we closed down the game, went to bed, and that night, my brother had a dream that you needed to pick up the turkey. Like, you needed to order the turkey, and you needed to pick it up. And that's what you need to do. So, it was, like, totally prophecy moment. He just read the future. Okay. <laughs> cool story. I wanted to share that, because it's really, it was really cool. Um, let's set the alarm for midnight because we have a little ghost hunt that we need to go on according to uh, Jane's grandfather Alan on his computer. What the what was that? Oh my gosh. Ooh. I need the creepy grandfather clock noise. Wow! Ayo! 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 squawks that was so creepy <gasps> scratch marks like something was trying to get into my room that's so creepy and now we're just gonna willingly go walk around the castle in the middle of the night like it's no big deal it's totally actually a big deal I don't like it I don't like it it's scary Nancy okay Password is his. So who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? S slogan? It's not his slogan. It's what's on his coat of arms. Who's ready to go in a ghost hunt? I am. Remember, you mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go. And he's not kidding. You do have to be really fast. So if you go out, they're all in the great hall area and in the conservatory area. If you go out. You need to basically look for little glowing purple that one. ghosts and close their little doors. Oh, so like this was one. Oof, got him. Um, and then there's got to be some over here. Oh. Three down, ten to go. Let's check in here. Any ghosts? Ghosties! Oh, ghost. Any 
more ghosties. Ghost. Any more ghosties. Ghost. Okay. Um, let's check the conservatory over here. I forgot what... Oh, I should have been counting. What were we at? There's a couple in here. Oh, I guess Nancy's counting for us. She will tell me when she finds some. And we go down here because there is one here. And I think that's the only one down here. Go back up. And then we have to go up the stairs here because there's a bunch in these hallways. Uh, let's keep our eyes peeled. Aha, there's one. Is there one up here? Aha! Ten down, so. three to go. Three to go. There's only three more we need to find. Okay. Is there any this way? Can't go I need the no key. Attention to the bird behind the curtain. Door yet. Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Shoot, is there one in that room? I bet you there's one in that room. Oh no! I found it! Ghost! There! Ghost number 13. Aha! We did it! We did it! We did it! Where's our prize? Did we get a prize? Congratulations! You're one of the few people who have seen the 13 ghosts of Blackmoor Manor. As a reward, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. When you are facing the green dragon, look to the left and pull down the vase with the tree. Okay, we haven't seen any green dragons yet, but that's good to know. But a word to the wise, if you're wearing a hat, hang on to it. Have fun! It's cryptic. It's very cryptic. Okay. Well, I think that's all we can do here. Why don't we... Can we, like, check on Linda? She's probably sleeping. Oh, yeah. I forgot it's, like, ridiculously late. It'd be kind of rude to just waltz into her room at midnight and be like, Hey, Linda, how you feeling? Probably not great. Oh, yeah, telescope thing. Can we look through it now? Ah, look! Oh, maybe this is what we need to do with Betty. Because these are all pictures of the game with Betty. Okay, I'm going to get out my notebook, my detective notebook. So what you want to do is either draw the pictures or write the names. So you've got sad face. <laughs> then you've got number two, which is parrot. You've got harp terpsichore, is that what it's called? The harp, and then... You terp the flutes and then the happy face. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Oh, hey, can we open this? I sp we do have the. Oh, have we done this already? We did that already, didn't we? I thought we did. Yeah, we totally did that. Okay, but let's go let's go down to Betty and try hitting those symbols in the correct order. And then we should probably get some rest. I bet Nancy's just exhausted. Okay. Those symbols look familiar. Yeah, they do. Uh where did my notes go? Notes. Notes. Oh, that's the wrong game. Looking at my notes for Secret of Shadow Ranch, that's not the right game. Uh... <laughs> Where'd it go? It's like... Can I just remember what it was? Was it Happy Face? Then it was 
three, four, five. No, is that the wrong order? Is it sad face, parrot, uter, happy face? Oh Maybe my god! Give that to me if I win. Now I have to play Betty again. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pause this recording here, and then I'll pop back up when I like win this Arrowhead thing because I don't want to make you guys watch this again. Oh my goodness. We'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. I'm gonna beat Betty. I only had to do it once this time, which is good. But I'm gonna beat Betty. And she's going to give me this arrowhead thing that she has. I won! All right, Betty, pay up. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, phew. There we go. Glad my game's not glitched. I should know by now what to do, you know? Uh, okay. Ooh, here we go. I bet this is where it goes. Hey, hey, okay, let's turn this that way, probably. That looks right. I guess. I guess we'll find out later. All right. Totally just thought I heard a door open. That's super creepy. Ugh. The environment of this game is so good. It's so scary. Okay, time for bed, Nancy. Let's maybe, I mean, it's midnight. Let's sleep in a little. Let's set our alarm for, let's go at least nine. I mean, I'm, I'm a tired person. I need at least nine hours of sleep to be comfortable. What the heck is that? What is that? That's what I just asked. 3.15 a.m. That's such a creepy time. Oh, well, maybe I'd better have a look around. I mean, should we? Creepy ch- <gasps> What on- What? What is that? Oh gosh, Lulu. You scared me. I don't see anything. Lulu, did you hear anything? Polly is a stupid bird. Polly is a Say goodnight, Gracie. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone's sleeping. Go to your room and set your clock. What time do most people get up around here? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Set your clock for 6 a.m. Ah, sweet dreams. Ah, I'm not getting up at 6 a.m. Oh. Now I'm scared. Can I? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go back to sleep. That's so good. To be honest, I probably wouldn't be able to sleep in this castle at all. I mean, I get scared sleeping in my apartment alone. I uh, don't think I could do this big, haunted, creepy mansion. It's beautiful and I would love to explore it, but I don't think I could actually sleep there. Anyway, we're getting up at nine. Because if you don't have to be anywhere at 6 a.m., you shouldn't get up at 6 a.m. I wish there was like where's the bathroom in What's this place? that? Again. He was Randolph's grandson and the first initiate. Odo did not have the proper qualities for Randolph's instruction. Because he was stupid. No, Jane. It's because Randolph believed that the proper qualities skip every generation. We talked about that, remember? I guess. Milo was a great soldier, just like his grandfather. And with his grandfather's help, he was victorious at Khan. That was a battle fought in 1417, during the Hundred Years' War. That's right. But I don't understand something. The Hundred Years' War lasted longer than a hundred years, right? So why do they call it that? Why don't they call it the 116-year war, huh? Oh my, look at the time. We need to go over your geometry. Please open your book to page 46 and read silently. Ah, <laughs> the best teacher cue ever. Been there, my friend. Nice distraction. I'm not a teacher, but I'm a speech-language pathologist, and I work with elementary school students, and every once in a while, you need a little bit of a red herring for him. What was I doing? I guess I didn't really have a plan. I mean, we just kind of woke up. 
There's still one character we haven't met. Is he here? Oh, he is. I can hear him typing away. Hey, you! Ah, yes. Are you here from the agency? It's about time. Agency? Oh, dear. You're not the typist from the Spiffy Specialty Agency, are you? Well, how do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. Pleased to meet you. My name's Nancy Drew. Are you visiting Blackmore Manor? I'm researching the Penvalin family, and Mrs. Drake has graciously opened the library for me. Nothing much has been written about the Penvalins. Until now. Why do you think that is? It might have something to do with their scandalous history. Or perhaps it has something to do with the family treasure. Family treasure? For centuries, the Penvalins have been very secretive. Some believe they're protectors of a fabulous treasure. Or of some dark secret. There are several skeletons rattling about in the Penvalin closet. Take, for example, Eleanor Penvalin, tried and convicted of witchcraft in 1650, quite the height of the witch trials here in Essex. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. Cromwell? Oliver Cromwell? Ironsides? Hm. I suppose they don't teach history any longer in the U.S. Oh, Lady burn. Penvalin was a rather vocal critic of Cromwell's policies and helped many of his enemies flee the country. Whether she actually was a practitioner of witchcraft is unknown, although many visitors to the manor during her tenure reported hearing strange, ghostly bells. Some even saw phantom hands floating about the manor, tolling their charmed chimes. When I arrived here, I saw some kind of creature with red eyes outside. Perhaps it was the Blackmore Beast. What's that? It's a story that's been told for generations out here. During the 1600s, many of the villagers reported seeing a strange beast with red eyes and giant fangs prowling the moors. They asked the mistress of Blackmoor Manor, Eleanor Penvalin, to put a bounty on the beast's head. But, oddly enough, she not only refused, she forbade anyone from hunting the creature. It was rumored that the beast was Eleanor's husband, whom she had cursed for finding out too much about the Penvalin secret. You mentioned some kind of scandal with the Penvalin family? Well, having a family member burned as a witch can hardly be considered a mark of pride, I dare say. And then there's the whole business with the Blackmore Beast. Who are all those paintings of in the Great Hall? Those are the Penvalins who owned Blackmore Manor at one time or another. Have you seen any runes anywhere in the manor? You mean like Norse runes? No, I haven't. I don't really know much about them anyway. Dead languages aren't really my bag, you know. I'll let you get back to your work. Tally-ho! <laughs> I love Nigel. I love how smug he is. I suppose they don't teach history any longer in the U.S. Excuse me. Yes, they do. Let's see, maybe we can check in with Mrs. Drake. Again, I don't really have a plan for our morning yet, so I'm kind of just going around talking to characters. That's usually a good idea when you are stuck, don't know what to do next, go and talk to your characters. Yes? Do you believe that Blackmore Manor is haunted? No, of course not. I've lived here for many, many years, and I can tell you without a doubt that absolutely no ghosts walk these halls. An occasional odd creak here and there, yes, but no ghosts. But I do sometimes wonder if those who have passed away remain with us, lingering on. I miss my brother terribly, and I sometimes wonder if he is in some way still here. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. I don't believe in ghosts, but their souls are still here, lingering on. Those would be ghosts, Mrs. Drake. Those those are ghosts. You just defined what a ghost is. <laughs> so it's totally haunted. I believe in ghosts. Ghosts are creepy. Scary. Let's see. Ooh, let's check in with Linda. Are you awake, Linda? Are you going to be angry with us? You're usually angry. I'm sorry to bother you again, but Jane told me about the Lady in Black. What Lady in Black? Jane never said anything to me about a Lady in Black. That kid is so weird, I just don't get her. She seems very concerned about you. <sighs> yes, I know. 
I just don't know how to be a stepmother to her. She's just so... strange. Look, just forget about me. You can't help me and that's that. I'm sorry. Linda, you have to give me a chance. Everyone is so worried about you. If you just tell me what's happened, maybe I could help. Linda? I made a promise to your mother and I plan to keep it. I'm here for you when you need me. I want to pull open that curtain so bad. Just be like, yeah! Hello, Linda. Alright, well I think that's enough for this video. We'll continue doing some exploration in our next video, I bet. I need something else for this. Oh, okay. Well, we'll Vier, continue on. Viri, viro, virum, viro. Vir is Latin for what word? Man. And doing some Latin lessons now, it sounds like. I keep trying to close off this video and then I keep getting distracted. We'll continue exploring in our next video. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.